Well, the feeling, I mean, it's a great conference. So right now, all we just we just on focus one game at a time, and we're a great team coming to a great conference. We're just gonna make sure we give it all I got, all we got, and focus on just one game at a time. Sunbelts looking to have their commissioner was talking today about making a push for a New Year's Bowl, one of those kinds of things, to come into the Sunbelt at this time. I mean, what, what's that kind of feel like? Uh, it, it feel great because, I mean, I know when I first came in, a lot of guys were always talking about like wanting to play in a bowl game. And tr right now, also trying to get an opportunity to play in a bowl game, it's just a great feeling to even be mentioned, to be able to be eligible to play in the bowl game. And Coastal, um, correct me if I'm wrong, is not eligible yet. Right? Yeah, I would say yeah, we're not eligible. I'm just saying, like, for the younger, for you yeah. As, yeah. A, as a senior, like, um, you know, being in this transitionary phase, what's it? What's, what's your personal involvement? What's your role in this? Uh, my role right now is just, just coaching the young guys who are going to uh, be, be in the Sun Belt, just preparing them to know that the, the competition level is picking up. And they just when they go out, just have fun and, and make sure they're doing everything possible to uh, do everything they got, give everything they got. I'm wondering, you know, just as I mean, it's, it's your last year and you know, they, I imagine players want to play for a post and have some kind of stake, you know, for you, what's that like not to happen? Uh, for me, I mean, it's time for me because our, our main goal as a football team is to make all of Coast Carolina community proud and give it 100%, 100% all the time. So it, it's fine with me not being able to play with it as long as I make everybody at Coast Carolina proud. So it's a lot about being that first team yeah. that made the made the transition. Yeah, I would say yeah. It, it, it's I mean it's pretty tough for some guys, you know, because everybody want you know compete for a bowl game, but us right right now we just focus on making Coach Carolina proud. So that's where that motivation. Comes yeah, the, yeah, the motivation comes from. Yes, sir. Hey, well, I appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. I, uh, I actually just came up in Beaumont uh, covering the a little bit. I was at the game last year. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that was. Uh, Ended up coming, coming out, you know, broke that game open. I was say yeah, quickly. yeah, <laughs> yes sir. Anyway, um, nice talking to you, man. All right, nice talking to you too. Hi, Oshamar, welcome. Oshamar, yes sir. Sports Choir here with uh, Oshmar from Coastal uh, Carolina Football. Just how's the offseason been? What have been some positives you've seen from the unit hey, prepare for this 2017 season? Uh, what I've seen from the guys, the guys, I mean, they're hungry. Everybody want to get there. And, and just we've been working hard as a team. All the workouts been working hard. The guys been doing extra stuff, watching extra film. And the guys just really wanted this year. And we're going to go by a game, w one game at a time. You've had a lot of success at the CS level, but you moved up in expectations. You fin you're picked to finish very low in the conference standings. Does that provide some extra motivation for you guys, or do uh, you I mean, even look at that stuff? I mean, it really don't matter to us because we, we kind of understand. We come from F FCS, and they've been playing FBS, so we kind of understand how they feel about it, and they don't want to, like, pick nobody else down that's been playing FBS. So, I, I mean, it really not bothering us because we know we've been working hard, and we know how this year gonna come out, and we pretty confident we're gonna have a great year. So it's not, it really don't bother us. Is the team ready to make that, take that step up in competition and, uh, and face some some teams that are, are, you know, maybe a higher caliber than in the past? I mean, yeah, yes, the team, I mean, the team we've been waiting to play a uh, big team like this. We, all, we also been playing some big teams from the FCS, and we've been competing with them a lot. So right, I feel like the, the team is ready to get, uh, Come into Sun Belt and compete with the, with the great teams. I mean, we're not afraid of them. There's some great teams in Sun Belt, but we ready. We also want to come and compete too. From the outside looking in, it seems like Coastal Carolina has a different approach from your coach with his financial background. And I just talked to, with the assistant. He said you have no rules. I, think, I, guess I would one, say the one mantra: uh, be it damn, be yeah, a man. Yeah, I would say yeah. What's that like? Just approaching things a, a different way at Coastal than you know maybe some other programs that you maybe from high school or then your, your friends and how their college experiences are. I mean, I feel like it lets you be the person whoever you want to be. It's, it's, it don't like, it don't, turn, it don't turn you to a robot. You can be whoever you want. But whatever you do, you got to set your responsibility and take uh, take actions. And also, you got to be a, basically be a man. Whatever you do, you got to take responsibility for it.